guys, it's Addie from AG Obsessions and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas 2017. Now I am new to YouTube so I'm super excited that I joined before Christmas so I could show you guys my haul. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first thing I got was this Merry Magenta outfit. And this is super duper cute. It was um, $36.00. And when I open the set, as you can see, on most of them, you're going to see this little piece of wrapping paper. And that's just because when we traveled, I wanted to make sure me and my sister knew whose was whose. So we put a piece of our color wrapping paper in the boxes. And this was my wrapping paper, so it doesn't come in the sets. This is just what I did to tag my items. Let's open it up. So, the first thing it comes with is this adorable dress. It's lacy and it has this layer of lace mesh. And then it has just a layer of plain mesh and then the regular fabric. It is obviously a magenta color and the belt right here has little diamond rhinestones on them. And these are nice, nice, nice addition. On the back, it is Velcro all the way down, and only about a little bit has no Velcro. My only complaint is that the sewn-on pieces of this felt right here, the design, the back of it is showing right here, showing the white, which isn't very attractive when your doll is wearing this outfit. So. If you want, you could just trim that off so you don't see it. I'm going to have to figure out a way to cover it up. I don't really want to trim the dress, but that might be what I'm going to do. Next, it comes with a pair of shoes. And these have the little gems on them as well. These are just black flats. And they each have five gems on them two rectangular gems and um, three of the plain silver circular gems and they have a little curve right here next it comes with a headband and this has a large gem piece right here so we're going to open this up Once again, the American Girl, their famous large tags that nobody wants on their items that they have to cut off because nobody wants their doll wearing a headband with this giant tag flapping out of it. But this is just a magenta headband with the rhinestones, a big chunk of rhinestones on the side here. And the last thing is a great addition, it is a little purse. There is a chain, and it just has all the gems right here, and it's Velcro, and it opens up. So your doll can put, like, her wallet in there, or some little snacks if she wants to eat. But it's absolutely adorable, so I really recommend this set. I'm so excited to put it on my doll. I think this set would look really nice on Leah or Grace, because they look good in pretty much anything. The next thing I got was the allergy free lunch and I have been wanting this set for the longest time and when I saw that I got it on Christmas I was so excited. So this is what it looks like. First we have this little snack sack as you can see and it just opens up it's like a brown sack and it has a lot of room to fit all the food in it. Next, it comes with a little fruit smoothie. It says fruit smoothie on it, and it's just, looks like it's probably strawberry and raspberry. It's pink, and it has a red cap. Mm -hmm. 
Next we have this little container with vegetables in it because your doll is healthy. It has what looks like some grilled carrots and some tomatoes. These are not removable. They have to stay in the container. They are glued in. But it is very adorable. And it is an open container with no lid, so then it looks a little bit more realistic rather than having a lid that can't come off so your doll can never really reach the food. Next it comes with this little band. And your doll wears this and it just has these little openings to stick the stickers on, which you'll see in a minute. But it's just a band and it wraps around her wrist and it just goes in like that. Like that. Speaking of stickers, it comes with a sheet of food allergy stickers which just lists the things that your doll is allergic to and she'll stick it on her band so she can remind people and remind herself what not to eat. It says no strawberries, no peanuts, no eggs, no wheat, no seafood, no green beans, no fish, and no milk. So your doll can just stick these stickers onto the band to label what she is allergic to. It also comes with these two kebabs and but it looks like they have some meat, some like chicken, and then there looks like some ham, and then just some greens and some fruits. So these are cute, it comes with two of them. And the last thing this set comes with is a little EpiPen. In case your doll eats something she's allergic to, she needs to help herself with this EpiPen. And it's an auto eject injector. So she just has to poke it into her leg or wherever she wants to poke it. And it'll, you know, bring her back because she's allergic to something. It'll stop the allergic reaction, and that is that. The next thing I got were the Holiday Penguin PJs, and I'm not sure how much these are. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The first thing I see is the shirt, and it just has number 10 on it and a little penguin, and it's a light pink color with red stripes around the arms. Little American Girl logo right there, and it has Velcro down the back. And it also comes with the pants, which are light blue with polka dots on them. They have a little band at the ankle, and they have penguins in presents on them and the American Girl logo on the back. And there's no Velcro, but it is an elastic waistband. It also comes with these little slipper booties. They are, they look kind of look like a Santa hat. They're red at the bottom with white fluffy cotton around the ankles with these little pink bows on them to match the top. So it kind of incorporates um, the colors from the top into the shoes. And then they're harder on the bottom so your dog can stand up. And then it also comes with two little hair ties. And these are just little scrunchy hair ties. The next thing I got was a slow cooker dinner set. And this is a very heavy set. Just warning you. Um, since there are so many items inside, I already took them out of the bags, but I haven't really examined them yet, just because I didn't want to be opening 2,000 bags full of like paper and items in the video, so that I do this ahead of time. 
So the first thing it comes with is the little crock pot, little cooker, and it has a lid. Then it has this blue piece which comes out, leaving the silver, which has two blue handles on the side. It also has this little dial so you can switch it from low to high. It has a power button right here. Obviously it doesn't really turn on and the buttons don't work but the dial does and it has these up and down buttons for more time or less time. Next it comes with two glasses of milk. They have these pink and dark blue and light blue polka dots on them and they're just filled to the top of milk. There's no straws or anything and the milk is not removable. Next it comes with two napkins. They are just pink with this little blue swirl pattern on them. It also comes with some barbecue sauce. I can already see the tag is coming off a little bit so I might put some tape or glue on there. But what I really love about this is it really looks like barbecue sauce because it's like a red maroon color but it has black specks in it so it looks like there's some really good seasoning in there with the pink lid with the American Girl star in it. Next it has these two big plates and they are blue with white lines on the outside. As you can see so far it seems like this is going to be a dinner for two people because there's two napkins, two plates, two milks. It just makes sense. So let's see if this pattern continues. Next it comes with these two little green plates and they have the white lines on the outside as well. It also comes with two forks. Just the classic American Girl metal forks. It also comes with a butter tray. And the butter you cannot remove, but you can remove the little lid. And speaking of butter, it also comes with this little green butter knife. And it is completely rounded, so obviously it's not going to harm anybody but it is metal. Next it comes with these plastic tongs. So your doll can grab stuff out of the slow cooker without burning herself. Next it comes with this little pot holder oven mitt thingy. <laughs> and it has the same pattern as the napkins. It's just pink with this blue swirl in the classic big American Girl tag. It also comes with two piles of broccoli, two pieces of chicken, two of these little toasted buns, and two of these little fruit salads. And that is it. Next, I got this blue rhinestone studded dress. I'm not sure if all of them come with these big attached tags on them, or maybe mine was shipped, I'm not sure. I didn't buy it for myself, so I'm not positive. But it just looks like this. It is a blue sweater material with rhinestones around the top and this little silver sparkly belt with a bow. And it is Velcro down the back. And it has a little silver sparkly bracelet and a silver sparkly headband. The next thing I got was Kit's school lunch. Like a few other items, I've already taken all the food items out of their bags. So it does not particularly come packaged like this. 
So first it comes with this green lunch box and it has two handles on it. Kind of looks like a picnic basket. It has trains and boats on it. Which are adorable. And then the top has um, airplanes flying through the sky. So if we put the handles down, the top of the container comes completely off. It comes with this little napkin that says autumn on it. And it has some acorns and leaves. And this opens that big. It also comes with this little sandwich. It might be a cheese sandwich because I see it's orange. Um, but it doesn't look like there's any meat on there. It comes with this little chocolate chip cookie. And it also comes with this set of fruits and veggies. It comes with a carrot, two celery sticks, and half of an apple. And that is it. Next I got the swim shirt and short set. Sorry if it blends in with the background because they're both American Girl items. So they're the same color. So first it comes with this little pair of shorts which has a flamingo in the corner. And they are this light pinky metallic color with a more orange pink color around the rim. And there's no Velcro on this at all. It has the American Girl logo. And it feels like real um, swim shorts. And there's elastic around the waist. It also has the top with the same color scheme. The orange pink here and a little bit less of the metallic pink with the American Girl logo. And this has Velcro all the way down the back. These are the only two items that come in this set, but it is really adorable. The next thing I got was Kit's Reporter set. So to start off, it has this little roll of pictures. Um, they are stickers, so I think you stick them um, inside a camera or something. I'm not positive because I haven't really looked at the set so much but these are just some photographs you have her friends and family and there's her little dog I'm guessing that's her dog Grace so when you open it up inside we have this little bag and it looks like it's been patched with some yellow. And it's a blue bag with a red string, which has a Velcro at the top so you can attach it around Kit. It's like a little purse. And when you open it up, there's one item inside. And I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it says notes on it, so I'm guessing it's her reporter book. Oh, yep. So it opens up, and there's just a pad of paper in her notebook, and it just slides in here. So if you want to, you can actually write on here for a stop motion, and you can just replace it. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to find a pad of paper this tiny. Um, for sale, but you could always make one of your own and glue it together. Next, it comes with a little pack of film Kodak for her Kodak camera. And there's not actual film in here, obviously, but there's not anything in the box either. It's just a little light box. Next we have her Kodak camera. And to open this up, all you do is you push it down and it slides up because there's this little rim right here holding it in under here. So you open up the case and there's a handle and you just pull out her camera. 
And I looked at this before on a video of someone else who was opening up her reporter set. And they said it was kind of hard to open up the camera. And I went to the American Girl store yesterday in Atlanta. My first time ever going to the one in Atlanta. And I saw it was open and I couldn't figure out how. But just now I figured it out. <laughs> so yay me. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you this again if you did not understand when I just did that. It looks like this. There's this little metal piece right here. You pull up and the camera pops out. You just push it down like that. So this is the camera. It's a very old camera. You probably don't recognize it. In the back here, you, just, you can't really see anything. It's just plain. And there's a little button here. I think the camera is really cute and it just makes it a lot more fun for stop motions or different things like that. So this camera can slide right into that case. Next we have a little pen. If I could open the bag. <laughs> There's just a little red pen. It kind of looks marbly. And it is a calligraphy pen. And the cap comes off and reveals the pen part. It's golden and it's a calligraphy pen. So this is what she uses to write in her notepad. And last but not least, we have the newspaper. It is the Cincinnati newspaper. Cincinnati Register. It just has some little, what would you call this, twine around the newspaper and a big pack of newspaper. So you can open this up and read it. There's all, it's all pages full of real, real words and stuff, even though you might need a magnifying glass to read them. So the next thing I have is the color block dress. And it looks like this. And what comes inside is a little dress called the color block because it has blocks of color. And it has a little plastic American Girl logo here. It comes with some silver leggings. Silver sparkly leggings. And it comes with a blue braided headband. Next, I have a bit of a bigger box, and this is because it's the rainy day set. So you just slide this off, and then you pull it up. There's two different covers on it. And this is what it looks like. I've wanted this set for about five years now, I think. And I finally got it for Christmas this year because I wanted it, but then they didn't have it and it was out of stock. And then all these things happened where I couldn't get it. And then finally I got it and I was super excited. So first it has an umbrella. It has a little handle here with a rubber band to go around your doll's hand so that your doll can hold the handle. Then you there can undo the Velcro here, and the umbrella really opens. So it looks like this, and then the top is this bright polka dot pattern. I can't really show you guys the umbrella very well, because it's very big and it won't fit in the frame. But it does open, and it's really cute when your doll holds it. It also comes with a pair of little pink rain boots. They look like this. These are absolutely adorable. They are pink and they're rubber with these little white bows on the front. 
It's kind of upsetting that it doesn't come with a rain coat to the boots and the umbrella. You have to buy that separately, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore. The next thing I got was this Healthy Smile set. I've also been wanting this set for a long time, so I'm glad I got it. First on the cover, it just shows you um, the headpiece and how to put it on, the mouth thingy. <laughs> and it comes with one headgear, one retainer in case, one toothbrush, and three stickers. It's cute. So this is the headgear. It has this big tag on it, so I'm going to be removing this. But it just has this Velcro in the back to adjust to your doll's head. You just put it around like that. Tighten it to her head size and put it on. It also bends like this and the prongs come out and can go to different levels for different mouths. Right now it's at the perfect one, but these are just here to show that it also expands for different mouths. It also goes inside of their mouth because it has this little piece right here. I'm going to quickly demonstrate this on a doll. I'm not trying the entire set on, but this is just to try on the mouth set. So this is what the headgear looks like. It just slides the piece right into their mouths. It just sticks out on the side like this. All right, next it comes with a little retainer and the cap decided to come off in the box. It went, it went through some harsh times. It traveled very far <laughs> in a truck. So it has this American Girl star in it. And the retainer doesn't come out, but it does look cute on um, a bathroom counter or sink area in a stop motion. It also comes with a pack of stickers for, with braces on them, so you can just stick them to your doll's teeth. And it comes with this little electric toothbrush with a real button, but it does not turn on. But it's super, super cute. All right, so the next thing we have here is the Leah's Rainforest Hike Accessories. And um, I know you may be wondering how I have something from Leah's set, which you just saw wearing the headgear. Um, even though Leah was two years ago, and this year is Gabriella, and the next year we don't know who it is yet. Well, this is because um, my mom bought this ahead of time, and she's had it in her closet and she forgot about it. So she finally gave it to us. Imagine waiting like two years to finally receive the set that you've wanted. Um, yeah, it's been a harsh time. I've already taken these items out of their boxes because originally I did a video review on this after I received it, but then I decided I wanted to add it into my haul since I got it for Christmas and just show you guys it in the haul. So, that is why they are already out of their bags, and I have looked at this, but I'm going to show you guys it anyway. So first it comes with these two snack bars. The first one is an Akai bar with chia, and it is organic, and they are tropical fruit snacks. And in the little plastic up here, you can see the bar. It's a red color with some orange dusty colors up there. You can open this package and take the bar out because I can feel it in here. It feels like a granola bar. But I don't, I don't want to open the package because then you can't put it back in. It also comes with a mango tropical fruit snack, which as you can see up here is a yellow granola bar looking thing, which is cute. It also comes with a pair of binoculars which adjust like this. They have handles and you can really see through them. As you can see there. It doesn't magnify, but it does show through them. It also comes with this little brochure about butterflies. It comes with some bug spray, which doesn't have a cap, but it does look so realistic. I was very surprised when I saw this. It says bug spray, and then it has new in the corner, and it says long-lasting protection. And then the top 
it has like even the indent of a spray bottle and the only thing that would have made it a little better if it had pushed down but I it this is amazing it also comes with like a bamboo walking stick with a handle with some like yoga looking tape on it yoga did I say yoga tape yes this is a handle with some yoga tape oh my god what is wrong with me what is wrong with me it has some I'm not sure what we, we would call this like tennis tape I don't know but it's nice and it's painted like so And then the last thing it comes with is this backpack that Leo wears. And it has this large section that has these little pink holders on both sides. And it has a clip. And then there's a zipper right here. which opens up to a little pocket to put her fruit snacks in. And the other thing I thought was really cool was the fact that it had a realistic water tube like in most hiking backpacks. If you don't know what this is, it's a little tube that has a mouthpiece at the bottom. You put your mouth on it and you just suck in it. The water comes through the tube and it is attached to the back where you fill with water. So I thought this was cute that it had this realistic piece on there. The next thing I got was in kind of a big box too, and this is Leah's picnic set. And it specifies it's for dolls, so there's no real food or blankets in here. Let's see if we can just like. Okay, I think that's it. There's a lot going on. Let's try to quickly go through this. All right, first it comes with this little picnic blanket, and it's not even really blank mit, blank mit, blank mit, blanket material. It's more of a weaved basket material, but it is painted with really cute designs on the edges. Next it comes with this basket to hold all the food. And it's plastic and it's pink and purple with some teal and white painted onto it. No design on the back, but there is design on the front. And there's little tassels hanging from the handle. Next, it comes with a pineapple, which is really large and adorable. Next, it comes with a whole empanada. It just looks like this, it's lightly toasted. It also comes with a half empanada. Um, it's a whole empanada, but it's cut in half. And it looks like it's just like a cheesy meat filling. Next, it comes with some coconut. I'm not sure if this is coconut milk or coconut water. This is what it looks like. You cannot remove the straw or the water or the flour. They're all stuck in there. This is super cute. I think it look really nice with a beach stop motion since it's a picnic beach set. It also comes with some dessert, because you know you got to have some dessert on the beach. It comes with these little cupcakes, which are chocolate and has chocolate sprinkles on them. Lots of sugar there. It also comes with this little notebook. Looks like this. You take this and it just slides it off. So you can open it. So Leah can just write in her journal about what she did. It says Leah Clark. She can write about her adventures in here. That. 
And then it also comes with this large tray, large blue tray for Leah to eat her food on. And all of the food fits nicely into the basket, which she can just bring her rolled up um, blanket and her basket to the beach. The next thing I got was Tenny's performance outfit. Uh, sorry, excuse me, Tenny's sparkling performance outfit because this is a very bright. I have already opened the package so that I wouldn't have to struggle so much on camera. Sorry about that. So it comes with a few items. Which were sewn into the package, by the way. Sewn in there, and it was kind of hard to take them out. But obviously I eventually opened the package. Whew. Okay, so first let's talk about the dress, which is adorable. Like, look at this thing. Look at it. It's black with some gray and then some silver and just kind of escalates into the black. It does the same thing on the back. I kind of thought it looked like the city, so this kind of looks like some tall skyscrapers. And then some short little buildings down there. But it's adorable. And inside it's just black. Then it has Velcro down the back until right here at this point. So there's about one and a half to two inches without Velcro. And it's a tank top. It also comes with this velvet jacket. Looks like this. I think the velvet jacket is super cute. It has the American Girl logo here, which is kind of hidden, which I like. So in stop motions, you don't always see the American Girl tags. It has two pockets, one here and one here. The back is just plain and it opens in the front. It also comes with this pair of sparkly sandals. It's just silver, crisscross in around the ankle and it's sparkly. And it also comes with this little hair clip which looks like this, and it has three rhinestones on it. Most of the things I will not put back in their bags, but since this is a little item, I don't want it to get lost, so I will be putting it back into its bag. Next, I got the Red Hearts Ruffle Outfit. Which looks like this. It's just pink and a bunch of different shades with ooh, <laughs> um, ruffles, obviously. And then a light pink slip under it. I'm not sure what material this is. It's kind of rough at the same time as being silky. It kind of feels like mesh. Then it has Velcro in the back and ruffles around the neck. And it is tank top spaghetti straps. It also comes with a pair of slippers with the, you know, famous American Girl tag. I, you can't go one outfit without having a huge tag. This one just has some red slippers with little hearts right there and it goes around the ankles. And it also has a headband it's plain, it doesn't have any bows or anything. And it has a little bracelet with hearts around it. Which is super cute. All right, next we have Leah's Beach Accessories. Just slide the cover off and then open it up.
So as you can see here, we have a lot inside. Let's just grab and go. So first we have her goggles. They are just plastic and they're pink, clear, and blue. And they have a little nose piece on them right here. So she won't get water up her nose. Next we have her sea turtle. Leah makes a lot of friends in the ocean. She's kind of similar to Kanani. Um, so she made this friend sea turtle as Kanani made a friend seal. It's kind of heavy, but it's just peach brown on the bottom and green on the top. Speaking of turtles, she also has this little baby turtle hatching out of its shell. And it looks like this. And this is its mommy. So the baby is hatching out of its shell. Got some shell attached to its head still and around the bottom. But he's making his way out. I think this is really cute. Next we have some sunscreen. Leah wears SPF 50. So as you can see it says SPF 50 in its sunscreen and it's water resistant. The cap screws off but nothing comes out. It sounds like there's something inside there. Next, it comes with a little blanket or towel. I'm not sure yet. There's a handle here. The handle just comes off from these pieces of Velcro. It is attached to the blanket. Open it up. This is definitely not a towel. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a blanket for her to lay her stuff out on. She can keep her sunscreen here and she can lay out and tan or whatever she wants to do. This is really nice. It's rough and it has a cute pattern on it. I'm not sure if it's a towel or not. Still don't know. Let me know in the comments whether you think this is a towel or a beach blanket. Let me know. No. Oh, not the last thing. Never mind. One of the last things it comes with are these flippers. They have these little grooves on the bottom so she won't slip. And her feet just slide right in there and they sit right here. And this goes around her ankle. There's also this flower mandala pattern on here. And the last thing this set comes with is a snorkel, which attaches to her mask, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So it says, discover Bahia, which is where she is. And to attach it to the goggles, here's how it works. There's this little blue tab right here. The top part you unslip. Then you put the goggles in. Then you put the other top part on. And the goggles are attached. So she can have her goggles on and snorkel like that. And do. The next thing I got was the Sunshine Garden outfit. Now I have the Sunshine Garden set, so I was really excited when I got the outfit. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has this purple short sleeve top. Well, one side is short sleeve and one side is a tank top. And it has this little tassel right here and it just has this overlapping fold right here with the green American Girl logo and some green pattern right here and Velcro down the back. It also has this checkerboard colorful 
pair of shorts with little pockets that are real and Velcro down the front right here and the back are plain no pockets and it says American Girl it also comes with these pair of shoes which are very very interesting big tag um, they are I thought they'd be Velcro, but I don't think they come undone at the top. They stay they stay together right here. It is sewn down. But right here we have Velcro to get it around her ankle. It comes undone like that. And the last thing in this set is a little scrunchie with a flower on it, which I haven't seen um, a scrunchie with a flower on it from American Girl. I don't think ever. So this is very interesting. This is an extremely unique set. Um, just the fact that the top has one short sleeve and one tank top side. Um, the shorts are kind of interesting pattern. The shoes are pretty fun. And now it has a flower scrunchie, which I like to put at the end of like a braid or something. So this is a very interesting and adorable set. Next, I have Leah's Rainforest Hike outfit to go with her hike accessories, which I already showed you. So this is what it looks like. We have a white t-shirt with a pink splattered butterfly and just has Velcro down the back. have some pants. They're kind of thick and heavy, but they have these two pockets on the side. No Velcro or anything, they just flap open. And there is a belt right here with a clip. And there's Velcro right here. And the back looks like this, and it has her own little personal tag, which is Leah Clark American Girl. I really like these pants. <laughs> it also comes with a pair of boots, her little hiking boots. They are brown, green, and pink, and the laces are just elastic so then she can slip her foot in without any Velcro or anything. And the bottom looks like this. It also comes with a little watch for her to wear and it just slides on like this with a clip like so and then you slide this in here very realistic looking according to the watch it is 325 And it's just a neon pink with a neon yellow colors, which go well with the set. The last thing is a headband, and it's just yellow with a bow. The next thing I got were the lovely leopard PJs. Which look like this. They just have some fuzzy slippers which are very soft and comfortable and I want them for myself. And they have little hearts. Comes with a hair tie with little heart rhinestones on them. Comes with these fluffy leopard shorts with an elastic waistband. Comes with a long sleeve top which has a heart on it and some mesh ruffles at the bottom. And that is it. The next thing I got was Melody's birthday outfit. I haven't even opened this box yet. Oh, there is some uh, tape on it. See, there is some proof that I haven't even opened the box yet. And the truth is, I did not get this on Christmas Day, 
but I did get it for Christmas. Because we stopped at the American Girl store in Atlanta. Because I wanted to go to the Atlanta store. So I got this for my Melody doll. Alright, so first things first, I see a purple sweater. It's soft and really thin and nice. It's a turtleneck. And the Velcro only goes down halfway. It also comes with this checkered um, kind of school purple skirt with the one button on the side and an elastic waistband. It comes with these white tights and they have this cute little pattern on them. These white flat shoes with black little bows. And it comes with one purple hair bow. The next thing I got is kind of different from the rest of the items because this is a My American Girl watch bracelet, but it's for people, not just your doll. So when my mom bought this online, um, it was like you spend this amount of money and you get this one dollar watch thing. She thought it was a real watch, but it's actually just a bracelet that looks like a watch. It's pink and yellow, it says AG right here, and it has this little watch part right here. Um, it says 4 o'clock, but it's actually just a bracelet, and it's kind of big as well. It's very interesting, like I said, it's different. It's kind of big for me, my wrist is small, and it just looks like that. The next thing I got was Josefina's Feast Outfit. Which I have opened already because I wanted to take a look at it. So first it just comes with a plain white dress. Um, in Josefina's um, outfits, um, she has plain white dresses and then colorful skirts that go around them about up to right under her chest they go up high like this and then the rest of it just flows under the skirt so this is what it looks like it has a ruffles on the sleeves it's a little fancier since it's for a feast and it has ruffles around the neck and it has velcro down the back Next it comes with the colorful skirt, as I was talking about before. It appears to be a dress when she's wearing it. It looks like a dress, but really it's one little long dress shirt thing with a skirt over top. Scroll out a little bit. It looks like this. It's black and blue with these design swirls at the bottom and a green lace around the top. And it has some Velcro on the back, right here. Next it comes with some little slippers, a little flat. They're just light blue and they kind of, they're kind of silky and they match the skirt nicely. And then it also comes with two ribbons for her hair. What you can do is you can do um, these two braids that flow together in the back and you can braid ribbons into the braids which is what I'm gonna try out and then it also comes with a sash which in Josefina's outfits her sashes go around her waist where the skirt connects to the top so you can't really see it it goes around it like that so it'll be overlapping the skirt where it meets the top that's why it's a little bit thick 
it covers it up, then it ties into a nice pretty bow in the back. The next thing I got was Josefina's hair styling set. I have opened this once already to try out the headband braid, but that is it. So you open it up, as you can see, I have removed the headband braid. It is just a little headband with a hair um, braid attached to it with the ribbons braided through it. And I like it since it's not like an elastic headband like Leah's, which can't get on and off her head and the hair keeps coming out because you have to stretch it over her head. This is just a headband open on the bottom, so it's not going to be pulling the hairs out when you're trying to put it on. It also comes with these two flowers, which Josefina is known for sticking flowers into her hair at the bottom or through her braids. So we have this set of purple flowers and a set of pink and white flowers. It also comes with these two bows and we have a red bow and an orange bow. The next thing I got was Josefina's summer outfit. which is definitely one of the most adorable outfits I have seen in a doll collection in a while. And it just looks like this. First thing I saw that really, you know, attracted me to this set was the hat. And right here it has this like almost horse hair like straw stuff right here and a bundle on the side. And there is a string with a little bead to hold it to her head. You just tighten the bead to her chin and it'll hold itself up. And you just, I would cut the tag off if I were you. So you put this on the side. It looks like that. It also comes with a little dress. It is a long dress with ruffles at the bottom. And it's kind of scrunched up at the top. And it has Velcro on the top half section right here of the dress. And it's really pretty. It also has this little leather vest that goes over top of it with a floral pattern right here. Which opens up completely to a felty texture. The next thing I got was Josefina's accessories. So when we open it up, I have already opened this and put them on a doll because I wanted to try it out. So first we have a Josefina's Reboso. And it's just like a little scarf or shawl. And it opens up like so. It has little red, white, and blue tassels on the end. And it's just colorful here. It's red with some green, blue, and orange mixed in here, and yellow. It's just very beautiful and a nice texture. There's also this little packet which shows you different ways that she can wear her reboso. It even shows you how to. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so it even shows you how to say reboso right there which is re boso, re boso. And there's different ways she can wear it over her head, across her body. Um, this is a traditional way that they would hold a baby. Next we have her little necklace. It's gold and it looks like this and it has this little black um, circular gem or charm in the center which is very beautiful. She also has this little handkerchief with a flower in the corner. Next we have her hola. I believe that's how you say it. Josefina's hola. It's a coin. It comes in this little pouch. And you can just take it out like this. It's this little golden bronze coin I'm not sure what the purpose of it is uh, I'm not sure if it's like a good luck charm or maybe it's money I'm not sure 
please let me know in the comments if you know what this is for or how to pronounce it. And the last thing is this little leather pouch with the button, you just slide this down and you lift the little tab over it. I have trouble with um, opening this little pouch, but there is also a handle for her to hold. And yeah. Technically I got this before Christmas, but I also wanted to share with you that I got the American Girl stocking, which says Believe, and it's super fluffy at top. The only thing with this is it's a little bit small. Some of the stocking stuffers you get may end up being under the tree as well. It just has American Girl on the back. But these are really cute, and I was so excited when I saw this on Christmas morning because I had no idea I was getting it because we had other stockings hung up, and then this appeared, and I was like, yes, this is really, really cute. All right, you guys, here she is. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? She's in her meat outfit right now, which includes her already pierced ears, her white dress, her red, blue, orange, and white skirt, her blue sash, and her deer skin shoes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and turn on your notifications to stay tuned with future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!